Hello, lovelies. We are here and we're going to do a lunchtime live. And Julie will be in in just a moment. She's got a little bit of work left to do before she gets lunch. Okay, I just thought that I'd show you some dangles and uh, we talk real quick about different kinds of dangles. This is one made with gang pieces, uh, poker pieces and beads and charms here is what i consider a color uh, wave dangle okay hang on These are all macrame dangles. If you'll look at those for a second, I have to do a little business here. It is tough getting back in the habit. So we're going to ha -ha, make bead dangles and um, I'm just trying to show you all the different things so far that we've done. And I cannot walk into just chew gum at the same time. <laughs> Look at me just typing up a storm. <laughs> I love doing the macrame. I am addicted to it, Brooke. Um, I've, I found out that I can even use these great big beads, which really makes me excited. 
I know I used a lot of big ones on here, but you know, if you're in screen, it's really great. There's a tassel. I even cut out some fabric and put it on. Here's a, um, here's a paper clip. So much you can do. And this is a, this is a single strand one that everything comes off of. And then this one is multiple strands. If you can, if I can get it up here for y'all to see, sorry, it's been so long for me doing this. That's multiple strands coming off. And this is also the broken jewelry that you can use. And like I said before, I don't know if you saw it, the game pieces one where you've got game pieces and beads. This is a poker chip, chess piece. So, okay, here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, you know, I'm, I might try later to walk in chew gum, but I don't know. I'm not making any promises. Not any. Just any kind of weird thing works on here, so... And I love the different, and these are going to all be in my shop. They were going to be, but um, Streamlar changed a little bit since I'd done it last. So I had to do a little self-teaching thing. So um, I saw something the other day I thought was really cool that I had not um, seen before. Hey, Berkey Boo! It's just um, a short dangle, and I thought this could be really neat. Okay, y'all, I'm the only person in the world that has three different ends to her metal. <laughs> Too many ends. <laughs> so what I saw was just a lined up, just a straight line of beads and I have some interesting beads here so I thought maybe we could figure out one or more of these she had a butterfly so you know I don't know you know there's 3200 different colors of blue Maybe something like this. We'll make that our middle. Miss Julie is our bead maven. So I was looking for her to be here and uh, start this business off. Okay. 
<laughs> I tell you, there are way, way too many things going on behind the lines here. You'd think I could get this open, but. Oh, yay. Woohoo! Look, everybody. Thanks, Brooke, for the pretty beads. Hey, Julie. Hey. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. I can hear you. <laughs> Good. Hey, Peggy. Peggy's here. Hey, Peggy. I need to get to where I can see the chat. I can't see the chat right now. Peggy, please. Come help me organize, Peggy. I'm drowning in my organizing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I will be just one more second, I promise. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Brooke, I do not think that Peggy is stalking you. I just really don't. I just don't see that in Peggy's personality. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> How funny is that, huh? Oh, okay, hold on. It's Miss Julie keeps me, Miss Julie keeps me uh, saying. I try. I think you keep me saying. <laughs> Today she's like, okay, do you have a theme? Do you have a color? And I was like, theme? Color? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get to where I can see the chat right now, so I can't for some reason. Did everybody tell us they could hear us or what? I've got to have them on. Okay, I'm here. Can y'all hear me? Okay, but you can still hear me. Thank you, Peggy. Can they hear me? Can you hear me? I can't see what you're saying, but. Keeps telling me videos unavailable. What? You're on yeah. the screen. I know. How can that be? Act. No, Brooke, not yet. I'm still working it. Okay. Oh, great. Brooke says she can hear us both, Julie. Oh, awesome. Hi, Brooke. Okay. It may be that it's. I have got such a reverb. Is it me? No, no, um, not a reverb, a drag. Oh. Uh, Julie, Brooke says, Brooke says, go to, go watch on Bluetooth, YouTube. Blah, I'm, 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 tr I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> obviously, I'm trying. we've got some, uh, obviously, we've got some uh, stuff to overcome here. Yeah, I, well, I'm trying to get on YouTube, but it keeps telling me that, It's not, um, it's not live. I mean, I can see it, but I can't get in. Weird. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try on my phone. See if that helps. I'll try one more time and then I'm going to say forget it and, and go yet on. there are people here. 
<laughs> yes. It's amazing, uh, isn't it? Mm. So I don't know if anybody can even, you know, guys, I've got to learn how to get things in camera. Hi. So, I don't know if anybody can even. Okay. Guys, I've got to learn how mute, to get mute, things mute. in camera. Mute. Hi. Okay. Well, I'm just messing this whole thing up. <laughs> hey, Christina. Welcome. Okay. okay. I what think I'm good. I'm going to have to use my phone so that I can see it. Okay. So what you got? You're doing blue. Those are pretty. Okay. Hey, Christina. Welcome. Can you still hear me? I can, you. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm good. Yeah, that's true. Use my phone. Thanks, yeah, Brooke. Brooke, you can, okay. I mean, uh, Julie, you so can get the chat in StreamYard. Those are pretty. I can, even mm -hmm. though I didn't start it. Christina, oh, my goodness. What a reverb. That's awful. <laughs> okay, let me think. Um. Oh. Let me go yeah, back. that's true. Thanks. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right. Okay, hello everybody. I have um, a couple of uh, beaded dangles that are in my shop right now that I just wanted to show you. This one is uh, for Valentine's Day. And this one is just a little pink one that I had made before. And this wonderful chain I got at an estate sale this last weekend, and I'm going to take it apart and use some of it. So I think I like the size of this one. And I don't even know what color I'm going to be using today. Probably, um, maybe blue. Oh, thank you, Brooke. There's quite a lag going on. And of course, this old chain is tough as nails. And I don't even know what color I'm going to be using today. Probably, um... Maybe blue. Is that better, Laura? Well, thank you, Brooke. There's quite a lag going on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. And of course, the old chain is up as nails. Remember this that I got at that estate <laughs> sale a couple days yes. ago? Yes, it's gorgeous. Is that better, Laura? Uh -oh. Thank you, Brooke. What's going on? Why are we lagging so much? Well, why are yes, we? Yes, there are seven trillion people live right now. I noticed that, Brooke. Isn't that wonderful? Remember this that I got at the state. Okay, so what do we do now? My hands don't want to work today. They're too cold. There are seven trillion people alive right now. I don't know. Isn't that wonderful? What do you want to do, Laura? Start, go out and start mm -hmm. over? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where the echo's coming from. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you still hear it? Yeah. You can? Because I can't. Oh, you can't? Not, I've got my headphones on. I can't hear it in my headphones. Oh, I took mine off because I thought that was part of the reverb. 
and I'm trying muting different things. And I just muted the YouTube of it. Okay. Okay. How's that? Better. Can you hear me? I can. How funny. Um, can you still hear it? I don't hear any echo. Okay, I don't now either. Good. Okay. Okay, cool. Good. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I don't know what you did, but Peggy, you are way advanced from me because I wouldn't even know how to put my keyboard on silent. <laughs> I would not have a clue. I need better Top touching um, buttons. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I need better tools. Uh oh. These are cheap ones and they're it's obvious. I'm not showing up on camera. Oh yes I am. It's <laughs> the lag. It's the lag. Okay. For some reason I do this backwards from you. I I get my I think I get my chain ready and then I start working on my beads. I don't know. Oh no 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 no. I've got that here. Can you see this? Oh yeah. I like that. I've got that ready. I just okay. was going to try this one I saw yesterday in a video, but she had a butterfly as her central uh, bead. Oh, and cool. I don't have anything quite that fancy. I just thought about doing a string and then she did a loop at the top and then she attached it to one of the hooks. Oh, I was just thinking about that and it, you know, it could go on the purse. It could go on a journal, anything just like these, anything. Yeah. I like that color. That's gorgeous. Well, yeah. I just, I'm trying to go with some that I have a lot of the color, <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's a good way to do it. So tell us about your process. That was, uh, My that process how we were going to start way back when <laughs> oh <laughs> at the beginning. Well, yeah I, I already did it i did it while you were muted oh shoot i was gonna i was gonna show okay so anybody this is this is worth its weight in gold for anybody who does beaded dangles because you can take this all apart and use it in little bits like that. So every time I see this, I mean, I paid 50 cents for this. What all did you pay 50 cents for? The, it, well, it's one necklace, but it's several strands. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I didn't even see that. It's got a little bling on it. It's not going to focus on it. So you can do, you can do tons of dangles with this. I've already got some of these little things made up, so I might use those. Or I might just stand here and fiddle and not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what else have you been up to, Laura? What have you been working on lately? Book covers? I have Soft been. Covers. I have yeah. them, um, and I can get those in a minute. Um, oh, the ones on your Instagram this morning is what I was yeah. talking about. Yeah. Um, so Peggy was saying that the sound is good, and so I was thanking her for that. And then I just wanted to ask, because you know how snarky I am. Um, now, Peggy, are you saying that I'm too loud? Is that <laughs> is that your sweet way of saying, Laura, you're coming Hi, through? Carla. Yeah, Carla's here, which is wonderful. 
So how long ago was it? We were thinking, gee, we should do live. We should get get on live. Oh, it's been months. <laughs> I think. Well, I mean, just the other day we were finally yeah. saying, why don't we? Right? Yep, exactly. Why don't we just get on live? How do you guys do it? Honestly, I just I'm just over here struggling trying to find all the stuff. Yeah, me too. I think that I might um, need to And we were pretty well prepped. We were pretty well I prepped. Think. And then StreamYards threw me the curve going, this is not the way it was before. And I had to try to figure out what was I supposed to do. I'm, yeah, loving, I, I'm loving these things that you can get on Amazon. And oh, in yeah. five minutes, this will actually come up on the page. There it is. And uh, they're just all kinds of what I call valley beads. Um, silver, you know, tarnishes over time, but these don't. And they're just oh. so much fun. And they're just, they give you like different little. They're spacers? Well, they can be. They're, they also sell beads. Oh, these, okay. these happen to be spacers, but they give just a little fun color to whatever you're doing. Well, I'll have to look into that because I don't have enough of that, that kind of bead. Oh, Christina wants to know if you're working from home. Yes, Christina, I am. Um, have since March. Along I, with... Yeah, I do go into the office uh, one day a week for a couple of hours just to open the mail and stuff like that. Make sure there's nothing on my desk that needs to be taken care of but yeah it's been fun <laughs> sometimes funner than others but oh look at that it's super fun when um when you want to get off and have lunch at a certain time oh yeah and uh you can't Oh, Christina said she's going in one day a week. Also working from home. That's fabulous. Boy, I tell you, we are lucky. It's, it's great to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Especially and, with the weather. And too. what do you think is going to happen to all those people that work um, um, commercial real estate? Because I know my husband's building. He's in a high rise in Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. And um, they take up floor after floor after floor. And uh, they're renegotiating. They're going to move um, at some point. I don't know when. In the next, like, two years or so. Who knows? Mm -hmm. um, and they're not going to need as much space because they've noticed that people will still work well from home. Yes. So um, I think there's going to be a lot of buildings with a lot of empty rooms. I think so too. Um, how with us, we just built our own building. Ooh. And um, it's not going anywhere, and and there's no end in sight. So and we're yeah. also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah so we'll see what happens but for now for now it's just everybody's working from home there's a few people that work um in the office just because it's easier for them aha uh -huh. but not very many i mean there's maybe five people there when i go in and it's a four-story building and there's 400 of us in that building man I forget that you're a nationwide company. Yeah. Yep. I can't figure out what I want to do here. Why am I doing this? I know. I'm just sitting here. Y'all give this entertaining people. <laughs> people, if you think I should put a white button in, put a silver button in, put a gold button in. I don't know. I need a seed bead. That's what I need. I need a seed bead. I'm into this. I'm just looking at what color do I need. I think I need something really light before I go dark again. 
Where's the drip? Scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> Scratching through my beads Scratching here. Scratching through the beads, people. And I keep getting off camera. Sorry. I am too. I know. I like okay. these. What is it? I can't see. It's one of those glass hearts. I love those. Yeah. But I, I don't read. I don't know exactly what to do with them. I think I figured out that if I put. I think they're perfect on something like this. As if I put reason. something like this, like a bead cap. That looks do like a little bead. hat. Yeah. Do a, do a tiny bead. Oh, a bead cap. That would work probably. I remember I did a tiny, tiny bead. I need a bead on top of that, though. Y'all, where's the hole? Excuse me, I'm going off <laughs> off country. There it is. Okay. See, I'm never. Yeah, I'm um, sweatpants and sweatshirt, <laughs> Christina. I have pretty much uh, every day. Yay! Until about five minutes before my husband's due home. Peggy, I agree. I agree. They are dinosaurs. Hey, Christina, that is so smart. That's what my daughter does. Puts on her best yoga pants and off she goes. So I have on my free vote with me shirt that I got when I voted. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no I like that free, free, uh, Free stuff you can wear. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. My youngest voted at the at the. Oh God, what are they? Everybody's got an advertising name for their coliseums now, but the big um, place where they play football, um, American Airlines Center. She voted there, and they gave a medal. Those metal pins that you can put in your clothing. They have the back to them, like oh, a yeah. black pin or something. And so they put, they gave them metal pins that say I voted. And uh, so she was thrilled because she loves to stick those all over her clothes. I don't know. I'm going to lay that there and think about it. I'm not sure how much I love it. We'll see. What's going to be fun is cleanup. <laughs> Oh yeah. So when you That's have always fun. When you have something like this, this is great to put aside for macrame because it's got a nice opening. But I think even this one will work. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so. Because it's it's a smaller opening, but still I think some of the twine I have will go through it. And so I'm gonna start just laying aside ones I think have a larger opening so that I can do some blue. Uh, macrame and all these monsters are going to be in my shop no they're not in my shop why is that because I'm Laura <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be all right that's right someday mm -hmm. someday I'll grow up enough oh your journals at the post office oh so you have not been able to pick it up yet Peggy, doesn't it? I do that in the afternoon. I don't know why, but I, you know, do the hair and all that a little bit before supper time. And then um, Hubs comes down the stairs on his uh, commute home. And <laughs> so he's right now commuting upstairs behind closed doors because we can't hear what he's talking about. And, uh, I'm down here blabbing away. Oh, he's top secret. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Well, I crawl out of bed and walk down the hall and that's about it. Take a poll on who's letting their hair grow out. Yeah, I love those hearts too, Brooke. Those come in the, um, is it Jesse James bead group? Yes. Because I have them, but mine are buried. Um, you have to kind of see. I have these wonderful acrylic drawers. Oh. I've nice. lost them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which means they're so piled up with stuff. 
that you just really can't see so much of what's in there. This is my phase one of organizing Peggy. Everything gets put where it should be. And then I'll further organize this, hopefully, so you can actually see the beads that are in here. At least you're color coded. That's that's my first phase, my phase one. Oh, here's one of my little hearts. That's this is what I play with. With a dangle. Oh, I love that. Oh, here's I a heart. Your favorite book. heart. Here's a yep. heart book from the Jesse James beads. Do we get a, a kickback on that? <laughs> well, ask. We'll find out. <laughs> I know, right? But there are some really cool beads in there. And yeah, I love this. The um. Oh, what is it? The grab bag. I think. I can. Uh, yeah, it's like by weight. Yes, you get it on Amazon and it's all, they're all just a bunch of hodgepodge of different. So just like Google, uh, well, just look for on Amazon, look for Jesse James beads and I think it should come up. Yes, it'll come up. I've got so many of them. I haven't even started sorting. I just pull out the colors that I want to work with yeah. at the time. And then I go from there. I have this great called Katie. <laughs> and and she beads. does that for you. I did. I gave her all the beads. I put them in the back seat of the car. Norman says, hey, Brooke. Um, and then she took it home with the acrylic drawers and came back with them all in their acrylic drawer. So there's an That's upside awesome. to helping your child <laughs> when they get kicked out of their job for COVID. You can put them to work. Well, that's awesome. Well, that's great, Peggy. Good for you. Mine, um, it was not a personal decision. <laughs> I went gray because of COVID. And because uh, I haven't been out to the hairdresser. Julie's beating me, though, on the um, hair length thing. Her hair is down to her waist now. Yeah. Isn't that correct? Yes, it is. But I still, I still color mine. No doubt I would, but it's, uh, I love broken jewelry. Isn't it the best? You love putting it into stuff? Yeah. I mean, you don't just love having broken jewelry laying around, right? No, I love using it. <laughs> <laughs> Such a smart ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that broken necklace hanging off the lampshade. Okay. Okay, so let's do another one. This is taking forever, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. When you're not on camera, things just go, 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 don't they? Okay, I did a messy topper, and uh, I need oh, that's nice. A jump point. You're doing long ones. Well, I'm just doing this thing that I saw the other day. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or like it. Um, she did this, and then she showed it hanging off of her purse, and I thought it might be neat. Um, oh, that's not straight. It might be neat hanging off like some people like to do their their dangles hanging off the front of the book and not everybody does it on the that's true and you could also hang it off of the middle the middle of the front of the book right so the, i don't need needle nose i need another kind Sorry, work calls again. I got to do something real quick. <laughs> Darn it. Multitasking. It'll be, quick. It'll be quick. So this is just what I was thinking. And it's got a couple of focal beads. It's got the eye. And then it's got this uh, 
um, hand worked one up here. And uh, I like mixing metals. Some people don't. I do too. I mix metals. So I've got the silver beads in it and I've got the, the bronze copper um, of the findings on it. So this would just hang from something I don't have anything for it to hang from right here. <laughs> I moved all my journals out of the room. Ugh. So anyway, that would just hang like this and uh, look pretty, hopefully. Oh, I'm going to be putting my macrames in my Etsy shop if I didn't say that already, which I probably did. Oh, nice. Happened to do that. Oh, Peggy, that's wonderful. Peggy's hairdresser will open up for her. My hairdresser has 16 other people in there, so I just can't. I made an appointment, and then there were all these people in there, and I'm like, uh, no. I mean, I don't mind if you've got people, just enough people that everybody can be separate, but I don't want everybody to have to fall over each other. Yeah, it's it's too hard. I mean, it's it's sad that we, we have to do what we have to do, but I don't like to be around a whole bunch of people anymore, and it's, it's really getting to be, I think it's going to be a problem. <laughs> You know. Yeah. Hello, Woodland Inspired. Thanks for coming by. How Hello. Are you? Welcome. What do you like to be called? Okay, so Julie, if I'm making one like you, is this too long, a piece of chain? I do about three and a half, four inches. Okay, I have to measure. That way you don't, that way everything balances out a little bit and you don't have to make it huge if you don't want to. Nice. Okay, this is three and a half, um, including the big ring at the top, so... It should be okay. Yeah. Okay. And then it just looks longer. Building, you're just building off of it. Yeah. I, just, I move things around. I'll put them on there and see how they look. And then if, if I don't like the way they look, I'll take them off and move them around. And nice. That takes me a while to figure out where to put everything, but it, it happens. I mean, eventually I get there. Ah, I get it. So is the big bead at the bottom, is that going to be your center? Um, it might be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Julie, guess what? What? Woodland Inspired is Celeste Gardner. Say hello. Oh, hi, Celeste. Thanks for coming. Yeah, I'm beginning to wonder if three to four inches should be half that amount if it's this big of a of a loops in the chain. You know, Probably, maybe. Yeah. I think this one. See, there's the main chain and it is. It's three inches from not counting the clasp. Gotcha. And then I I hung this um, heart pendant Cute. at the bottom in the middle. Cute. I think I'm going to do a, a smaller chain, maybe. I got, I think I also got um, these uh, clips on Amazon. Yeah. As well. Yeah, I have, I have some too. I have these. These don't really work. 
They um, are bigger than I thought they were. Um, but I can use those with macrame. Nice. Brooke, I'm with you. I am too. I don't know what it is. COVID fatigue. You think so? <laughs> That's what Brooke says it is. Mm. I like to hang something from the very bottom. Something kind of big. Is that yeah. anchor? Kind of? Yep. I like that, yeah. Something round. Oh, that's so pretty. I, I made that um, with a one-inch paper punch, and I bought these, um, what do you call them? Decals? No. Oh, Oh, the pendant. The um, pendant part. Yeah. Oh, um, I bought them on Amazon, too. Yeah. And I punched out um a round paper round one inch round paper and then i put glossy accents in mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so it's i like the way it turned out it's pretty but it's very pretty peggy have you gotten on Streamyard before because Ju Ju julie and i do this just like this um sometimes at night and it's a private session, you know, it doesn't go public. Yeah, and you, we craft together and just chit chat or whatever. Thank you, Brooke. Brooke said that's a bazelle. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's what it's called. Thank you, Brooke. Kind of like, an, would something funky like this go well at the bottom? I would do that, yeah. Okay. So then, it would keep it weighted down too. That's true. And it would let it would um, it would hang really nicely. Digging right. through the beads, digging, digging, yeah. digging. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what two thirds of it is. Digging through. I can hear my cat scratching at the door. They don't like it when I come in here and shut the door. I know, mine either. Oh, that's good, Peggy. That's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I have a Zoom session with my childhood friends. Um, which is nice. It's really nice to uh, to do that. I think I've done Zoom once. Oh yeah. Once, <laughs> I think, with my kids. Yeah, we do house party. Thank you, Brooke. That's so sweet. Oh, she thank you. Our projects look amazing. Thank you. Coming out with the gold. Let's see what I got. If I can put a couple of gold or amber things in here. So what are y'all working on? Tell me what you're doing. Brooke, are you um, are you slow stitching? I'm trying to catch up on my 52 tags. I have, surprise, gotten behind. and uh, <laughs> 52 tags. One a day one or a one a week? week. Mm -hmm. 52 tags being made. It's um, and Brooke is uh, doing it. Oh, and um, so she each week tells you what that week's tag is. And um, 
I got sick, I think, on week four or five and got behind. So, and how that goes. Yeah, that happens, doesn't it? It does. And you can't help it. There is no help for it. How many fancy beads do you put in? Um, How do you just go about six or seven? Probably an odd number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're um I need to practice working and talking at the same time. I can't. Hey, way to go, Brooke. Back order pre-orders. Oh. Have, have we finished a page on creepy baby? Oh, Celeste, that's fabulous. Celeste packing up orders. Oh, yeah. I got mine out this morning. Yeah. The weather's supposed to get pretty bad here. Yeah, I was well, too my girls to go and uh, do grocery shopping if they need it. Yeah, because nobody around here is used to ice or snow or any like anything uh -uh. like that. Uh uh. Um, I guess Steve was about twenty eight or so when he was. We had an ice storm, and he was trying to get out to his car, and um, he fell and pulled his tendon in his knee and had to be in the cast for like three months. Oh no. That sounds painful. Yeah, we finished the stitch page last time. Okay. We, Brooke, we're having an ice storm and it's super, super um, cold last night. All of a sudden, our power went out. And oh, we, no. I, yeah. And so Steve checked the, the, um, the box, you know, to see if maybe a breaker flipped or something. But uh, it came back on. It just came back on when he was getting ready to go out there. And uh, luckily not didn't go out again. But um, we have ice storm. We couldn't go out of our house this morning because all the walkways to, from all the doors were complete ice. So we were just, since we didn't have to get out, we were just going to let the um, temperature thaw the ice. Right. And yeah. so oh. normally, there's another one of the hearts from the... That's the one I just used. Set, yeah. I just used that one, yeah. I need to pull them out of all these. I need to pull out the special. I do that first. I got them, yeah. I do that first, and I, I've got them in, in here. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been a real uphill battle because, you know... Different for us. Not, not used to have an ice it's just no. not and, uh, no it's not a good thing around here because nobody everybody drives horribly because nobody knows how oh gosh we didn't even tell them about our big thing um i turned on the tv this morning when i was making my coffee oh, and, yeah. and the reporters were going what uh, there was a wreck in Fort Worth and I looked up and all I saw was tractor trailer rigs. Over a hundred vehicles were in this wreck, this accident, this pileup. Over a hundred. Yeah, so awful. there was an ambulance caught in the middle of it. Too. Yeah. Oh, no. So all the first responders from Dallas, well, not all of them, but a great deal of them ran over there and from all the little 
towns around Fort Worth because, of course, it was so cold here, below 30, and um, these people were trapped in their cars, and so they were worried about what could happen to them trapped in their cars, um, and some people were literally trapped because the way that they were hit, um, they slid into somebody, then somebody slid into the back of them, and oh, no. they couldn't get out of their cars. Um, it was like 6.30 in the morning, which I guess is a thank goodness because then, you know, not so many other people on the road, but enough, apparently, that you had a hundred knocking into each other. So that yeah. happens down here, Brooke, when we get ice because everybody's nuts. I know Brooke's thinking, you wussies. On it. <laughs> huh? Brooke's probably thinking, you wussies. Well, the thing is, because, you know, we were in Connecticut all those years and when the kids were growing up and one year we got 98 inches of snow, oh. um, another year 95. But the thing is that people know if it's ice, you don't go there, you know? Exactly. You either I stay home. alternate routes. And also they do so much better job. I mean, I used to be woken up at four in the morning by the big trucks going by scraping the road. Oh, they just put sand on them here. And I mean. they scrape the road with their front and then they drop stuff out the back. And um, they just have a much better approach because they get the weather so much more often. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This is this is um, Superstorm Shirley. That's what this one's called. Is and that what they're calling it? It is coming your all's way. I mean, it's going to be in D.C. Uh, Friday tomorrow. Well, Celeste, you are a smart lady because it's smart not to drive if you're not sure or not used to it. I just feel like it's more the cities have to have better uh, street sweeping and, you know, the scraping stuff. They need to Instead of just job. putting sand on it. No, sand is just going to lay on the top. They just put sand on the overpasses here. You know, that's just going to lay there and, yeah. wow. Well, it the silica in the sand is supposed to melt the snow or gotcha. the ice. Gotcha. I thought it was supposed to just give a, a base to grip it, but. Well, I think both. Ah. But, you know, it, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't do that much. No. Though. So. The royal pain. So we just we we're like, hey, okay, Brooke, you know? good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, honey. Say hi to Mark for us. Yes, please. Yes, Peggy, it's heading your way, hun. Um, take care, Brooke. Thanks for coming. Oh, you know what, Julie? We need to keep an eye on your time. Yeah, we do. Oh, when huh? did you <laughs> did you begin your lunch break? Um, at about 18 minutes after, so I've got about 15 minutes and this went by too fast. I'm not I even going to finish this. I know. Isn't that true, Christina? Oh my gosh. I've gotten so used to it. Like here, right, Julie? Like here, we just people just freak. Yeah, they don't they don't know how. They just I mean, don't know how to do it. Oh no. <laughs> but they try, and that's what's scary. They try. Oh, they drive like bats out of hell. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm on the road with them going, people, get a thought. They don't. They don't no. get a thought. No. Don't care. Not bumping into each other and Oh, absolutely. They're just stupid. That's too big. 
I don't like to put too many big beads on it. For some reason, it just... Right. Okay, Brooke, we'll see you tonight. Thanks, Brooke. Yeah, we'll see you. Five o'clock our time, is that right? Yes, that's normal. I have a... I now have a um, alarm on my phone because YouTube's the pits. <gasps> Look, I have one bead on my dangle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. This session's... In Florida now? I'm sorry. What'd you say, Julie? No, no, I'm just talking to myself. Go on. Go ahead. Uh, Christina, are you in Florida now? She was saying she didn't miss the snow. Yeah, snow is not normal for us. No. Here, so. No. We get ice a um, couple times a year in the winter, usually, but not not so much snow. And if we do get snow, it melts and there's ice in the morning. I think we've gotten snow maybe once while we've been here twice, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I think you're right. Something like that. Not much more than that, that's for sure. Right? It's just... Wrinkle, amazing. wrinkle. <laughs> I'm making a bunch of noise, aren't I? I love the the I'm finding all kinds of neat beads in here I didn't know I had. Isn't that great? I love beads. Beads and buttons are my downfall. I will buy a jar of buttons anywhere I see one. In the thrift yeah. shop, antique mall. I've just got to buy it. Now, see, that's the way that I used to be about fabric. I've gotten better. Seriously? Okay. Oh, there's there's the, the poor FedEx guy. Oh, my gosh. He looks so cold. There's little beads in this thing. And every time I put one on, by the time I end up making the, the loop, it has broken and gone off. So Yeah. You got, I got to be careful with that, too, because sometimes I just get them too tight and then they just shatter. Well, just like just trying to, to turn it. I just I think I'm going to just use um, instead of those things, I'm going to just use some wire. Do you see okay. these? I got to find my wire. No, what? They're little, what you, they're little gold glass beads. <gasps> I use these a lot. Where did you find those? Enabling. Um, enabling. <laughs> um, I don't. I uh, probably Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Glass beads. What does it say under glass beads? Um, it is in a different language. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Can you see it? Curls uh, de Verde. Okay. Quintas de Verde. And I do not. <laughs> No, if I said that right. I'm sure oh, I didn't. I love it. What do you think? Should I put this on there? Anybody? Put what on where? Let me see. This little sun and moon. Charm. Hey, Christy. Did you know Christy came on? Oh, Christy. Yes. No, I didn't. We decided we would start back up. Yeah. Yeah, I would put that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Can you put I'll it on the that. left side? On what side? The left, of, above that bead that has the long neck. Like right there? Yeah. That, oh, know, that'd be perfect. Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Yeah, they are. Oh, Peggy, I just love them. They're amazing. Let's see. I need to quickly make a... It was a wonderful awakening when I realized I can be messy and not try to be perfect with these uh, wire things. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, mine doesn't look like the rest of the people's. But you know what? It doesn't no, it, 
it doesn't matter. And, and there's, there's a technique, but I'm sure I, I just do it my way. Yeah. I just, I just go round and round and round. And then <laughs> I like doing the, this wrap at the top. Uh huh. Uh huh. Me too. Or at the bottom. Cause I think that looks super cool. And I usually do three. And then I make sure that my, do you make sure that you're, if you have a ring at the bottom and at the top that they're facing the same direction, do you do that? No, I face them separate directions. Oh, I face them different interesting. Directions. Okay. I can't see the hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Somebody thread this for me. So now Brooke's gone. So I can't tell her she's not the only one that has a hard time threading things. You know, if I could work in my area, that would be so super great. Let's see if this bead will stay on. Uh oh, you have lightning, Christy. Uh oh, that's North we're, Carolina. We're getting ready to have an ice storm here tonight. And I think Christy mainly is coming their way, you know, when it hits DC, it's going to hit North Carolina. This is Superstorm Shirley that we've got, and we've had an ice storm and below freezing here, which is just super. And unusual. it's going to it's going to be for about five days in a row, yeah. which never happens here. It's going to get down to three. Yep. We have never. Is that Monday? Yep. Yep. I'm going to put that yet. So I'm going to put it down and put this sun and moon on here first. Now I'm going to put this on the bottom and see how it looks. I like how you do a skeleton of yours and kind of put things in different places. Your big bead, do you put it at the very bottom of your chain? Yes. Okay. I usually do a the big bead on the bottom and then taper it up. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm waiting. Negative two. I'm waiting. Oh, you're in upstate New York. Wonderful. Uh, bless your heart. Oh, Celeste. Oh. Oh, Christy. <laughs> Her ex-mother-in-law's name was Kurt was Shirley. <laughs> Oh, see, Celeste, I do not miss that from Connecticut. Oh, my gosh. Putting everybody in the snowsuit every time they had to go out and, oh. That is it's hard enough putting a dog in a sweater. <laughs> Especially that doesn't like sweaters. Pound boxer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that doesn't like sweaters. All the time. He... <laughs> He doesn't have any body heat. <laughs> He's like, sweater, thank you. And then Norman comes to visit and we stick him in a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'm like, everybody here has got to have a sweater. Sorry. I'm trying to I'm trying to learn from the master from who? You. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so not from who? Yikes. Yikes, I am so not then I like to put up here at the top next to the I'm going to put this on this binder clip. Oh, smart. So that's what I'm working with here. And I've got this big, really heavy duty jump ring from the chain. But I like to put some single little beads up at the top, like at a, a grouping. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. Thank you. It's getting there. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, look at Christy. <laughs> Christy, I have no <laughs> doubt there'd be bloodshed. <laughs> it was, as we say here, it would get ugly fast, right? Mm. I can't imagine those big cats. Julie has cats. 
Yes, I have a, a Maine Coon, and he weighs about 25 pounds. Which is and more than Doodle, <laughs> my dog. Yeah. <laughs> and then? And then Buster Douglas, he is about... <laughs> um, yeah, B Doug. He's about maybe nine pounds. Almost bigger than Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no doubt they could both take Doodle in a fight. <laughs> right. And then we have Mr. Turkish that is a boxer and he is about 93 pounds right now. Precious. 11 years old. Oh, he's a doll. He's a baby. He is. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to check in. Okay. And maybe, maybe I can stay for a while. Okay. Just let me check in for a second. <laughs> Peggy, nothing like getting <laughs> ice chunks off your pet's fur. That is so true. I cannot imagine. And I hope I never have to. <laughs> I hope we don't turn into the icy north here. Okay, good news. It looks like everybody's away at lunch. So I can yeah. play. I can play a little while longer. So look at how fun mine looks now. <laughs> I have three things on it. Oh, it, well, it's it's going to be really well balanced because you have those two big ones at the bottom. That's good. Here's open. I've got one that's um, a little bit shorter. I thought I'd put nearer the top. See, and then I hold it up. And see how it all dangles together. Yeah, and see this one, I need to move it up, I think. Oh. Well, I don't know now. If it hangs in the middle, maybe I need to move it around to the other side. We'll worry about that later. Let's keep going here. Hey, you can actually see my hands now. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Did you move it in? I did. did you zoom in? Oh. Uh, how many beads do you put on some of your dangles? Do you put, you know, like, like if I'm using this bead, do you then put, would you put a round one on each end? I would. Okay. Maybe a bigger one at the bottom and then a, a little bit smaller on the top of it. Okay. Or, or do them, do it first the way you want it and see how it looks. You are the most wonderfully diplomatic person. <laughs> or, Not really. <laughs> do it how you want it. Yeah, I like that. And then another. Oh, the big guy's at the door. Uh-oh. He's saying, Mom, you've been mm -hmm. in there too long without me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one keeps walking through and just looking at me. And I just kind of go to town there. You said you do yours three times. I just kind of wrap it until it holds everything. And then quench it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Squinch it so it doesn't cut me. But, but we thought that we would do these lunchtime lives each week and do something different. Maybe uh, do book page pockets next week or. Uh, oh, yeah. We could do that. Yep. We could do collaging or covers. Oh. Yeah, it's kind of hard to do it and just stay at an hour, isn't it? So, um, oh yeah. <laughs> so I've just been sewing up some covers and uh, I like to figure out what might go with it. 
Oh, a little bit of ribbon or a little bit of this is a bit of a, I think it was That's a, beautiful. I think it was a runner. I think that was a runner. Um, and this is this is my fave so far. And then I thought that I might make a band to go around it to hold it. <sighs> Close oh, like that with this uh, I like that ribbon just that looks very uh, nice together just do like a little line of some sort of fabric that I put the eyelet in and then the ribbon off the eyelet and this would hold the book closed um, that's probably my favorite just some Tim Holtz fabric that's the one I liked look good with it in some that, way or form that's the one i liked that one that you just had uh -huh. the more colorful one yeah and uh then this is just a a couple of things that sort of match oh it. buddy and uh those are gorgeous and then this one is um I love the blues in that one. I don't know if I can get this one in the thing. This is one that I fussy cut a tablecloth. Oh, that's oh, that's right. And I remember now. Then this is part of a handkerchief over here, and this is a doily up here. The bird, if you can see it, I don't. I can tell because it's there's such a yeah. That's the bird. Yeah, I can see the bird, but I can't and tell then, that it's a doily yeah and then over on the back is more of the fussy cut tablecloth and then part of another doily and i just introduced the orange in there nice and I, I love that took the edge of another tablecloth which was blue gingham and put it along the bottom that is so cool you are so good with matching fabric pieces up i i suck at it i just decided this year that I'm going to just, you know, Rachel just sits there and so does her sister, Sarah. They just sit there and do stuff and, and, uh, you know, collage it all together. And I thought, I'm just going to go for it. If it looks awful, I'll throw it away, you know? So why not? We do it with paper. Why not fussy cut fabric and put it in there? Right. And why uh, not? So I did. I just, I just did. Oh, Peggy, you are so sweet. Yeah, Laura has the skills. She sure does. Oh, oh, oh. Christy, we are oh so happy to be um, calming your kitty. <laughs> <laughs> He's in the zone. That's right. Peggy says that Christy's kitty's in the zone. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. That's so sweet. Thank you, Peggy. Thanks, Christy. It, it's fun. You know, I think covers are my favorite thing. Um, oh, that's another thing that, that Julie and I talked about doing a segment on um, the papers that you put in signatures. Yeah. And zhuzhing them up. Okay. There's no end to this. It's magic wire. I can't find <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, let me see. How do you do that? Uh, you pull. <laughs> pull and you snip. Pull, pull and snip. That's what I'm going to do. Look at there. Pull. Yep. And snip. <laughs> I, hear t I hear toenails, so doodle is about somewhere. But I don't know. I was thinking about just, uh, well, I don't want to say just, but I was thinking about selling <laughs> some book covers in my shop, you know, so that people oh, I think you should, yeah. come over and, and get a cover and then fill it themselves. I don't know. I just, I didn't I love know that idea. if that would, would work out or not, if, if that would be the thing that would interest people. 
I love that idea. I think that that would be great. Oh, great, Christy. Okay. Um, well, yeah, let's definitely we'll do that. And, um, and, and you see me on Instagram, so um, I've determined that that we're going to um, put out there, you know, the beginning of the week, what we're going to do that week. So, yeah, people have a will. chance to, to come in. We will definitely do that. Because, and I, know, do, everybody. I struggle with signatures as well because I think... Um, about making them interesting or about what would work. And now once I have done this thing that we're going to do on our live, I'm just like, Oh, anything works. Right. Julie, you can just pull out a handful of paper. Oh yeah. And I usually pull out, I usually figure out how many pages I want, depending on those are single signature journals. So 20 pages max. And so like a third of that would probably be solid paper. Everything else, just pull a handful out, come and do this with us and you'll love it. Yay, Celeste. Celeste, are you Woodland inspired on Instagram? Because I'll look you up. I think I've seen um, Celeste before somewhere, either Instagram or Facebook. <laughs> Peggy. Peggy would pet the cover and not fill it. <laughs> well, Peggy, you know what? If that works for you, why not? <laughs> Who said you have a journal in a journal, right? Just enjoy. Yeah, just... Oh, <laughs> Hubs is getting a little impatient with Doodle because Doodle is going up the stairs and down the stairs and up the stairs. Oh, no. Because <laughs> he's all verklempt. He can't figure out, what is she doing? Here he comes down the stairs. Can you hear him? <laughs> Can you say hell on um, YouTube? <laughs> hell, yes. Because he was just saying, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, Turkish. Oh, they're all getting unnerved, aren't they? Oh, great. Great, Celeste. Um, Celeste, if you go to Instagram, if you're looking for Julie, go to Instagram to the, um, oh, what the heck is that called? The thing where you can punch in somebody's name to try to find it. The search. Thank you. I know English now. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> um, and start <laughs> Start punching in Julie, and hers will come up. Hello, duty. How's my duty? Doodle. Of course, he can't hear me because you got headphones on, right? No, 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 I don't. Mm -mm. Oh, you don't? Yeah, I took them off when I was doing when I was going through the list, mute everything, so we don't. Oh. That was really weird because it we were saying total sentences back and forth, weren't we? Yep. I'm going to later, I'm going to redo these jump rings. They're too big. I've got smaller ones around here somewhere. But since I've been cleaning, you know, I've got time again. Oh, you want a cookie, buddy? Come here. Hey, did he go out? Okay. You want a cookie? Here you go. He did not. Okay. Huh. Is it in this one? You know, I organized and then I have 32 places where something could be. And that doesn't work. Well. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm looking for my smaller jump rings. Oh. Yeah, because I was just using these really big ones and it didn't feel right. But if you get enough in there, is it okay then? Okay. Yeah, it depends. I mean, it, it's okay. Here yeah. we I'm to the point where I'm going to start moving things around because I don't like where some of these things are placed. 
great. I will get on there and follow you back. Lady Williams, hello. Thank you for saying hi. How lovely. Did you see she's on, Julie? Oh, hi. Yeah, you're not too well, late. I mean, we're about done, but, you know, it's lunch time. But so glad for you to be here. As I yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming. Yes. And hanging out with us. Thank you for being coherent, Julie. <laughs> <I'm just> like, <laughs> see, it's because I was trying to close this loop and I literally cannot speak. Oh, I know. I know. Same here. While closing a loop for some reason. Because it, it takes concentration. And apparently so does talking. <laughs> yes, it does. Yep. Is that not? This needs a lot of balancing. Right. Yeah. I hear it you. takes me a while. There. Sometimes I just take them all back off and then put them all back on again. I know. I know. You know, Peggy, pretty things bring us joy. I think that's why we all do this, don't you? Oh, yes. I have things. Love it. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. That's why I have jars of buttons and beads. <laughs> I agree. I agree with the baby blanket. I do. Yes. Pet it for comfort. Yes. And Peggy, your Instagram is amazing. If y'all are not following Peggy, you need to look at her Instagram. She's doing, what's that called, Peggy? The challenge that you're doing, because that stuff is just, I have so much um, respect for you ladies that do the, the collage art and your, your, um, oh, you're transferring images and you've got layering of all this different, Oh, I need to check that out. Media. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And Peggy's doing that challenge and she just makes the most amazing stuff. Yeah, I need to check that out. It is just awesome. It really is. I don't, I don't, I mean, I love doing the little things with the fabric, but I mean, you just, whew, do you have a whole, I think they have um, prompts in this and you put together these things from the prompt, but I, how do you get your vision? I mean, I wouldn't, I'd be sitting there with the page with all the things and I would be totally unable to figure out how to make them come together. Yeah. I imagine prompts would, prompts would help. Yeah. Greatly. Yeah. I do better with points. But it's just, it's really amazing. All right. I hate to say this. Oh, you're Joy Lees. Hi. I'm so glad to know that. I love you on Instagram, by the way, Lila. Oh. <laughs> She's <laughs> Joy Lees Craft on Instagram. Oh, okay. Fabulous stuff on there. Yes, she yeah, does. It's just, it's just so fun. I feel like people can um, show more of their work because it's a snapshot. Do you? Yeah, get I agree. Thinking? Yeah, I agree with you. They're just like, and of course, I get into my pet things where I have to put him on, and <laughs> <laughs> I I need to. Um, to put yours do on Instagram. Yeah, I need to do Instagram a lot more. I don't do much on Instagram. Well, I'm not a pro, but that's the nice thing about it. You don't have to have just a super whole lot of um, knowledge to do but, it. But you post regularly, though. Well, morning. that's part of it. Yeah, it's. Um, I certainly could do more. You know, I need to learn more. I apologize for constantly being out of the thing here, but I have to get it close to the old eyes to. <laughs> to <laughs> I know what you mean. And I've 
Regretfully, I'm going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to get end back to work. Uh, Leela, we have done lunchtime live in years past, and we just decided that this is our first one again um, since before COVID, and we just decided we're going to start doing them again. Yay! Yay! And it is always like this. It's always a craft along, and people can say you know, what they'd like to see or what they might want you to put on there. And we love all the help we can get. Yes, all the help we can get. <laughs> Peggy's doing Wonderlust 2021 scavenger hunt. And she's posting vintage holiday pieces as well. Yes. Oh, gosh. You've got to go back and look at her vintage oh, holiday look. stuff. It's amazing. Oh. Good to see you all. Good to see you, Christy. Thanks. It's glad we're glad to be back. You too. Yes, good to see you, Christy. Peggy, Celeste, Leela, thanks for coming over. Yeah. We really appreciate it. And our Brookie Bells, who was on earlier. Yeah. We really appreciate it's it. Always, we'll always good to have. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sorry. Always good to have the support and good to see you guys. It's wonderful to be in touch. I hear Turkish. <laughs> Can you? Yeah. <laughs> So take care, all, and we hope that we'll see you again next week. Yes, we will definitely, more than likely on Thursday, I think, yeah. Wednesday or Thursday. I that don't know. We'll figure good. it out. That sounds good. Yeah, once well, a week. Thank you for the thumbs up, Peggy. We appreciate it. Yes, thank you. So take care, and bye, y'all. <laughs>